All right, I'm recording this because I hit a 1935 castle age time with um, my standard build. So I wanted to record it so I could watch it later. See how I managed to do that because I almost never successfully do that. <laughs> I usually hit 20 or 21 minute castle age time. I think the trick was getting on farms and keeping villager producing in feudal. But here we go. It's an against an extreme AI, but honestly, my scout rush came really late um, because I didn't have the food to produce the scouts, and I just used them mostly to distract uh, the opponent from attacking me rather than to get any serious damage in. So here we go. Pretty standard dark age. Let's see, yeah, the Dark Age is going to be 19 pop. I'm going to go 6 on food, and then 3 on wood, and then food again. I find that to be a little easier to handle than going 7 on food, and then 3 on wood. It's a little bit trickier for me, even though I think that's the proper play. Yeah, with this build, the boar comes in a little early little too early actually but that's okay <clears throat> let's see yep pretty standard I'm gonna do knights that's the standard build for my opening is just a couple of scouts and then SLH and then knights and then yeah wall up in feudal I got a pretty good map this time. I mean, I guess my woodlands are all rangeable, which is not great, but I do have this one back here, this one. It allows me to wall the front pretty easily. The back is kind of wide open, but uh, and but at least the berries are kind of further away from the front and the golds in the back. So that's pretty nice, actually. The deer are a little far. I didn't push deer this time which is part of the reason the food was a little late. Uh, I got the deer separately. Okay, so this dude just, I kept trying to put him on the board and he wouldn't do it. So I was like, you know what, forget it. Just go build houses. Yeah. <laughs> it's about that time anyway. 12 bills. I think the second board comes in a little late, but I don't remember exactly. Yeah, I haven't really scouted each other yet. I like that capture age lets you see like both like combined line of sight is kind of interesting. I guess the computer is pushing in deer. Yeah, so I noticed that my golds are all here, which is kind of nice. They're, f they're away from the opponent. Although I didn't know that at the time. I thought the opponent could be, you know, anywhere and see you here, so... And then the the computer's golds are not that great. I mean, it has one safe gold in the back, but then forward, super forward. So not ideal, especially if I get map control with the knights. So yeah, I could have put a couple more. Yeah, I could have put a couple more on board, but I also wanted to make sure I got enough on berries. Then I'll have a little idle time, because I already have a little, but I'll have a little going up to feudal, because I'm short the food. And I think it's because I pulled my berry people, I, like with her coming in, I pulled the berry people off onto the deer. Well, I guess not yet, but I will shortly. But maybe I should have waited until all the uh, berries, or at least until I click feudal age to go get the deer. Oh shoot, I forgot to check the second boar. Hold on, I want to check that out real quick. Oh nope, I haven't pulled him yet. Okay, so. Yeah, a little late. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Not, not great. Hmm. 
at least five seconds, probably more like eight eight seconds or so late. Yeah, waiting to click, waiting to click, waiting to click, three food, come on. Come on. Yeah, see, that's a whole villager almost. Well, that's not good. I should have just gone 20 bills. But yeah, then I got them on deer. I didn't mill the deer because wood is, I'm generally low on wood anyway. Yeah, because I got the four people on deer and the two on berries, I only leave one guy on sheep. And then send this guy out to build the barracks. Oh, if, yeah, so I ran into the TC and got my scout died. Not my best scouting. <laughs> I assume the computer knows where I am, but maybe not. No, not yet, but they'll find me soon. Drop the stable, yep. Or come help and then go back to wood. So we're gonna hopefully keep the villagers going, that's the goal. The computer should be ahead of me by now. Yeah, by one bill. Damn. That's on me. Oh yeah, I got double bit right away. And then I go on wood until, yeah, I have about 13 or 14, and then I start, I should be dropping farms any second now. And then with the deer coming in, I have enough to make scouts. But yeah, see, my scouts are really late. By the time they pop out, it'll be really late. Farms? No? Yeah, see, I've got too much wood now. There we go. And I'm like, all right, let me let me spend it. I want to wait for. I think I send these two out, but I don't attack with them. I want to get three scouts, at least. But I guess I could. I could still harass a little bit, but whatever. I should definitely be scouting. Like I still have no idea what's going on over here, so that's not good. Yeah, walling up. Come on, put them to work. There we go. <laughs> All right, just only one more second of idle time. That's good. Keep dropping the farms. I mean, it's easy if I'm not microing the front. Alright, there's scouts coming out. I'm still open. It's almost 14 minutes still open. So if I was going to get scout raided, I would have been hit by now. I don't think I get housed either, which is kind of nice. I almost always get housed, at least a little bit. I don't know, we'll see, I'm getting close. Oh no, not anymore. Yeah, because I built that house, nice. Oh yeah, getting all the deer definitely helped actually. And sometimes I'll push two deer or not get the deer at all and I think getting all the deer really helps. And I think I send them to gold. Yep. Should have just had them build this because they automatically drop off if they build the economic buildings. But they went all the way to the TC first. But that's okay. But I should be good now. I'm going to get 
wheelbarrow, and then I should be able to go to Castle H right after that. We'll see. Found my buildings, and then I just finished my wall. All right, 16 minutes. So I sent the scouts in. I did get one vil kill from the lumber camp. Maybe two? Yeah, maybe two, actually. Yeah, two. There was a weak build by the lumber camp. Got him, and then it got one running back to the TC. Then I, uh, I just try to keep the computer occupied. I just don't want him to send the military. He's got up to the front. Ten archers, three spearmen, a skirmisher, and a scout. Could do some serious damage, especially because all my wood lines are rangeable. That was the main thing I was concerned about. So I had some idle time after wheelbarrow, I think. Let me take a look. Yeah, so wheelbarrow, short the food. I think I pull people in instead of building a bill. Yep. And then click. So there. Um, clicked at like 1750. No, wait, what? 17. 17. Yeah, around 1707. Trying to keep him occupied because I know this is coming. So I'm trying to get him to pull back. I think I get this guy. Yeah. Oh, I lost a bill. Oh, no, I lost a scout. Never mind. Still zero on that front on the Eco KD. I don't understand what's happening here. I didn't see this in the game. Okay, so he is going to return to deal with the scouts. And he loses sight of the scouts. He's like, maybe I should go forward, but then sees them again. I think there's a weak bill here. So I lose a scout trying to get him. Yep. Finishing up the berries. Almost there. How far am I? 80%. Yeah, I, I get. I'm pretty sure I got horse collar, gold mining. Gold mining doesn't show up here, actually. Yeah, gold mining and then bloodlines and barding. I should have got bloodlines a little earlier because I'll hit Castle Age and I'll still have a few seconds left before I can build a knight. That's kind of annoying, but that's okay. The two stable knights, scouts. I mean, they successfully pulled this army back, which is what I wanted. And that pretty much kept me safe. And then these three spearmen can't really do anything. And there it is. 1935 castle of a scout opening. That's really good for me. Yep. 21 APM on average. I'm behind by three bills now. It's not good, but it is what it is. I do have more collected, so I think the harass that I did was helpful. Yeah, and then I basically just amass knights and build a couple onagers. And that's the game. Do a little raiding here and there in the meantime. I find I was like, I know if there's no lumberers here and here, there's gotta be lumberers somewhere else. So I find them, harass them. I'll get some more, yeah. Seven bills killed, but he's probably still ahead of me in bills. No, okay, now I'm way ahead. Okay, yeah. Keep producing knights, keep producing bills. The TC on the lumber, TC on the wood. Or sorry, TC on the wood, TC on the gold. I see the castle shortly. I'm like, whoops, not going that way. Yeah, I think he's sending them out to build or repair the barracks, so a lot of villagers die pretty much unnecessarily. And then this is it. 
GG. But yeah, 33 minutes, 104 bills, 140 pop, or sorry, 135 pop. Got my second um, Manganel coming out, one's already there. I don't know why they GG'd that early. I've played hardest that don't GG this early. But then again, the opponent, it didn't really get another TC up. So if there's no second TC, that might be why. And the Manganels are we're killing the TC once I take out this barracks. All right, GG.